Hi folks, and thanks for joining me. You're looking at my next restoration project. It's a beautiful little Crosley set. And uh, check out the uh, dial on this. This is uh, beautiful. All the uh, call stations here. Placed on the uh, dial glass, and of course you've got uh, five push buttons and what I believe to be the three original knobs as well. At least they're matching at this point. Now this radio, the model number is a 718-B, and this particular cabinet for the 718 is uh, H, excuse me, 8H is in hotel, and uh, it's got this beautiful louver design. I'll show more of that in just a moment. We'll flip it around. You can see the uh, veneer on top. There's a seam here. In the uh, center, two different sections. Some uh, missing veneer back over here but uh, not in bad shape. The cabinet's got some separation here. Let me uh, flip it back around. All the um, discussion here too is uh, a little deformed as you can see probably due to uh, heat here. It's warped on this bottom section or I'm assuming that's not the way it was made. Um, we'll see if we can do anything with that. If not, it will add some uh, personality to the set for sure. Let's uh, flip it around now here and just look at the uh, the side and check out these horizontal louvers I'm talking about. A really cool Art Deco design. You can see the uh, design from the top and then if you're looking at the other camera angle you'll see the uh, louvers I'm talking about. I'm assuming this is where the original seam line is where they put the cabinet together so uh, we'll look at that closer and see it's come apart and then we've got some uh, small piece here missing but not in bad shape you can see that top area I'm talking about again you've got that deep scratch up here and uh, some missing veneer back here on this side now I'll flip it around so you guys can see the uh, chassis at least from uh, one view here hopefully and uh, see if I can adjust the lighting here just a little bit the uh, chassis itself is uh, extremely rusty, so um, we'll pull it out in just a moment, take a look at it together and see if it's even worthy of uh, tackling this particular restoration. Um, see the power transformer there, so it's got a couple antenna leads. Um, you can see the uh, speaker wires here are uh, compromised, degraded, but uh, quite interesting. If anybody has any information on this particular uh, cabinet, please chime in. I'm not sure how rare it is. There's not many examples online. And uh, here's a look at the uh, other section here. You can see in the one camera angle, piece of uh, missing veneer here chipped out. Another big gouge here. Piece up here on the corner. It looks like some beautiful walnut veneer. And again, there's a, uh, a better look here at the uh, dial itself. And I'll zoom in on this in just a bit. We'll take a look at it closer. Let me throw a pair of gloves on and uh, we'll get the chassis out and uh, see what that actually looks like. You can see here the uh, knobs are actually held in place with a uh, set screw. Yeah, let's go ahead and get this off so I don't have to worry about uh, actually shattering it since it's already warped. And uh, there we go, four little small wood screws. And uh, that piece is definitely uh, warped here, you can see. Get that out of the way now and see if we can pull this thing out. Okay, there it comes, and boy, it is one uh, rusty little guy. All right, here's a closer look at the chassis. It's kind of got that smell, that kind of that sweet smell, maybe an indication that some mice have been up here on top of the uh, chassis at some point as well. And you can see it's completely covered with rust, so not sure if that's a, a combination, maybe of ocean spray in addition to uh, a few mice you know, in time, 
cool thing is it looks like all the tubes are here and on the top side everything looks to be uh, complete which is uh, pretty neat. We flip it around here let's look at that uh, dial just a little closer here then we'll flip it over and uh, take a look at the underneath side. This power cord just keeps getting in my way so uh, let me get, get rid of that for a moment. Here's a look at that uh, really cool dial. That's uh, really nice looking. Alright, let's flip this thing over now. Check it out. Let me get the uh, cabinet here out of the way. Alright, let's see what this thing looks like underneath here. Try to do this from the different uh, angles here. And I tell you, it looks original. Well, you see a Philco cap there. That's not original. You can see where that's been tacked in. So maybe a little repair at some point in time. But uh, not too bad underneath. Wiring looks a little rough. You can see the shield on the right side here and the uh, mechanical piece of it here with the push buttons. So this one's definitely going to take some uh, time to uh, restore, which is good. All these others have been uh, pretty simple and straightforward. Just the amount of rust on the uh, chassis here will uh, keep me busy for a while cool green eye tube there as well. Maybe a fuel coil located here externally in addition to the output transformer on the speaker. And uh, there's the uh, tag inside the uh, cabinet here. Let's see if I can hold this. Get it up here where you guys can see it, the 718-B. So I'll tell you what I think I'm going to do with this one. I'm actually going to start with the electrical restoration. And uh, just see how far we can get with it before I spend uh, any time on the uh, cabinet. Just based on the condition of this chassis. Uh, being so rusty and maybe in a uh, ocean uh, side environment and uh, just see if it's even going to be worthy of uh, moving forward since uh, it's completely covered with uh, rust and then again underneath doesn't look uh, you know too bad but uh, you can see here I'm going to definitely uh, have my uh, work cut out for me on this one It'll be uh, some slow work for sure. We'll see if we can get there and uh, get this thing back in uh, better shape. 